to the boos of the crowd, George Foreman. And make no mistake about it, this man has psychological scars from the way he's been treated by people ever since he lost to Ali. Now you hear the cheers in the background for the overwhelming favorite of the crowd, Joe Frazier. That's Gil Clancy in your picture with George Foreman. And here comes Joe Frazier. A man who has brought nothing but decency and integrity and indefatigable effort to his trade. And look what he's done. Look what Joe Frazier has done. He shaved his head. It's a different looking Joe Frazier. The beard is gone. The hair on the top of the head is gone. Joe Frazier weighed in at a surprising 224 and a half pounds. Eight and a half more pounds than he's ever carried. Well, that's slowing down. Let's hear the introductions. The greatest heavyweight, the Manasseh Jack Dempsey. Jack Dempsey. Wait a minute. An introduction of the Manasseh Mall. Now 80, recovering magnificently from a stroke. You see him there dimly, sitting back down. Marvelous man. Caesars Palace Hotel of Las Vegas, Nevada, oh. welcomes you to the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum for tonight's 12-round heavyweight main event. Ring officials have been assigned here by the New York State Athletic Commission, James A. Foley, Jr. Chairman. Directly above us in his corner. Okay, he's announcing the referee and the judges. The judges are Artie Idala and Tony Castellano, both respected men with long boxing pass as officials. The referee. say there are about 16,000 people here, all of them cheering for Joe Frazier. Former heavyweight champion of the world, 224 and a half pounds, George Foreman. That's not easy for George Foreman to take. He remembers the way it was on an October day in 1968 in the wake of the Tommy Smith and John Carlos Black Power protest during the 19th Olympiad in Mexico City. He remembers how it was. Now watch this. Now when I tell you to break, I want you to step back. George Foreman, who was once a sparring partner for the late Charles Sonny Liston, using the baleful stare approach. Look at that. The same way Liston did. It's unaccountable. It happened. I don't think it'll have any effect on Joe Frazier. All right. The referee is Harold Vallon. I'll tell you more about Harold Vallon later. But he refereed the Ellis Patterson fight in Stockholm in 1968. And he was a controversy by himself. Round one, action underway. Now will Joe stay away from him? And Joe change his style. Joe will bob and weave as he always does. You can be sure of that. The left hook missed. Foreman remembering the way it was first time around. Joe bobbing. It didn't start this way as you saw earlier in Kingston, Jamaica. But George is big. He comes at you. Foreman is throwing leather. He's got Frazier against the ropes. And he's 
Foreman is punching crisply. They're not those long looping punches. Foreman has confidence against Joe Frazier. This is not Frazier pursuing Ali. It's a different kind of fight. There are horses for courses. There are styles for fighters. Foreman is punching away at Joe Frazier. That left looks like a telephone pole when it comes at you from George Foreman. And then there's the right uppercut, his other great weapon. That left keeps getting into Frazier. Again, you saw it there. Then the right. He says he'll do more damage than he did in the first fight. He says winners get kissed. He's bitter about the way people have treated him. I repeat that. It's critical to George Foreman. Foreman the red team. Frazier the white. Frazier looking so small against the hugeness of Foreman. But it's first round action. And in the first time around, Frazier went down three times. Frazier dancing, bobbing, weaving, challenging Foreman. Foreman getting hit by a left in the crowd rush. Long-time managerial mate of Emil Griffith, also in Foreman's gone. Round two. straight, crisply. Foreman with that left getting in there. Utterly confident. Frazier with a good answering left foot. Probably his best punch so far. Foreman getting the right in there. Frazier against the ropes. This is not a rope-a-dope situation. Good left hook. Foreman steadily the aggressor. Frazier still on the ropes. Now off and back against. This, folks, is a fight. Look at the countdown in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Second round action. Frazier now in the middle of the ring. Didn't 
cannot connect. Good left by John. This is the crispest punching we've seen from Foreman since before the Ali. Frazier with a left touch. Thought Foreman something. Good left hook. Got in there. Got in there by Frazier. A better second round for Frazier than the first round. Frazier, a notoriously slow start. Always bad in the first round. But Foreman, punching away, dominated in an aggressive set. Coming up to the end of round two. There it is. And the crowd is alive for this fight, and they should be. Let's take a look in slow-mo at that first left by Joe Frazier. Watch this. There's the right lead, uh, the left lead by Foreman. Left again missing, the right scoring, the left missing, and up comes Frazier with the left. Nonetheless, the unofficial scoring around me has it two rounds for Foreman, no rounds for Frazier. But Frazier's strategy evolves before your eyes. To stay in there, to bog, to weave, to let Foreman hopefully use himself up to avoid that stunning right uppercut that really caused Frazier's demise in the first fight. And then to come on in his own way, as he has against Ali. Round three. I don't think I have to identify Frazier for you or for me. Now let's see if Joe comes on. Foreman missing with that left. Joe in the middle of the ring this time. He worked the ropes a lot in round two. Foreman missing with his right. Joe working more aggressively in this round. Note that immediately. Foreman pushing him off. They had a hassle about that before the fight, too. In the first fight, no question, George Mann handled Joe. Good right lead by Foreman. Another good right. Oh, Frazier hurt. Frazier hurt by a right lead and then a left. is a fan's fight. Right by George. George has hurt Joe Frazier in this round. Joe fighting back. Foreman accused Joe of quitting in the first fight. Frazier never quit in his life. Frazier coming back at George. Frazier slips a lot of those punches, but gets hit with too many. George has not taken a backward step. Round three. Action, action, action. Totally, or rather, Foreman appears totally unafraid of Frazier. You saw that left again. Ah, a caution. A caution from referee Harold Ballin. Foreman did pull Frazier with his left hand behind the neck and handled him. Almost at the end of round three. George Foreman's round again. He hurt Joe Frazier in this round. That's the end of the round. 
little bit of blood from the right nostril of Joe Frazier. Now let's take a look at that right and the left by George Foreman. Watch it. There's the right. There's the right. And there's the left. And that's when Frazier was hurt in the third round. But no knockdowns thus far in the fight. Harold Vallon, the referee. Artie Idala. Tony Castellano, the judges. The fight's gone on a round system. New York rule. Three knockdowns in a round will end the fight automatically. We had that twice in Kingston, Jamaica. We have not, repeat, had a knockdown yet. Foreman right above us. Calm, poised, confident. Gil Clancy is screaming over here. It's all George Foreman tonight. All George Foreman. We'll see. Round four. When you've got a tiger like Frazier, you don't ever give up on him. Foreman with the size. Foreman with the reach. And to me, the most revealing thing about Foreman thus far remains to be seen if he'll tire, as he has in the past, has been the direct crispness of his punch. No more long, loafing punch coming from behind the ear. But right on, watch. This fight means to Joe Frazier. He dreams of a Frazier Ali four. He was not staggered there. That was a slip. Don't be misled. How to get inside that jab. How to do the damage. Up, upwards with the left hook. That's the kind of left hook that staggered Ali in the 11th of Ali fight one and floored him in the 15th of Ali fight one. Good left hook there by Joe. So he's had two good left hooks in this recent series of exchanges. Two quick lefts by Joe. Suddenly getting into form. That one missed. Frazier again. The crowd responding. But Foreman back. Left. Less than a minute to go, as you can see, in round four. Ceaseless action. Pushing off to get punching room. We approach the end of round four. No knockdowns yet. Endless punch. The crowd yelling at every left touch thrown by Frazier. Foreman pushing off again. <laughs> Missed. That's the end of round four. Frazier's best round of the fight. Now let's go back in slow motion. Watch this right by George Foreman. There it is. Snap the head back. Then watch a left by Joe Frazier. There it is. Got in there. Frazier's best round thus far. Round four. At ringside, the feeling is that that round was even. begins to tire. 
Frazier. Remember how Frazier came on in Manila, beginning with round five against Ali? Now he's survived four against the bigger, apparently stronger man, although each way is 224 and a half. Let's see if Foreman, Foreman backing up a step or two. Still punching well. You saw that left snap Frazier's head. Pushing him off. Good right by Foreman. This is not the fellow who staggered about the ring against Ron Lyle. No way. Not up to this point. This is not the fellow who was outsmarted by Ali. Or whatever happened to him in Zaire. Frazier trying to fight back. Foreman dominating. Round five. Foreman got in. Good coming. And again, you saw it there. Frazier's hurt. Frazier's hurt again. One right hurt Frazier. 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 getting the left, Frazier getting the right, Frazier taking it from George Foreman, Foreman, not Foreman again with the right, second knockdown in the round, one more knockdown, this fight is over, Five. George Foreman struggling to, no Frazier struggling Eight. to his feet, George Foreman poised in the neutral corner, look at him, in total command now. says the fight is over. George Foreman wins in the fifth round by a technical knockout and dreams a whole new dream. Another match against Muhammad Ali. Too big, too strong, in perfect shape. The punches straight and crisp from the very beginning. No sign of fatigue. Frazier as game as ever, but now inevitably the boxing career over for Joe Frazier, a fight of unceasing action, of relentless punching by George Foreman and of indomitable courage by George Frazier. I'm going up into the ring. Bear with me for some 30 to 60 seconds, and we will replay the knockout when I get in the ring.